Let's take a look at the 2020 Bluebird Rear Engine Transit Pre-Trip, Part 2, Inside the Bus. And what we need to point out for our pre-trip inspection. Our handrails. Okay, we're going to start with our emergency equipment. Locks into place. We've got our first aid kit. There's 24 dry box bandages, proof of insurance, and emergency contacts, three of them. We have our fire extinguisher. It is rated, dated, and charged. We are up to date on our tag, and the needle is in the green. If it's any other color, the red, you'd have to have it serviced. We have our body fluid cleanup kit that is fully stocked. We have our three triangles and six emergency fusees, 30 minutes each, all in here. Our windshield is in place, not cracked, broken or damaged, no loose or missing parts, no stickers or decals. All of the mirrors are adjusted for me. My student mirror, I can see all the way to the back and the top of the first seat. They are bolted and mounted securely, not cracked, broken or damaged, no loose or missing parts, as well as the visor, bolted securely, not cracked, damaged or broken. Our seat can be adjusted with this lever here to move forward or backward. The adjustment for the steering column is right here and it's also telescopic. Okay, and then push it back into place to lock it in place. Okay, our steering wheel has no more than two inches or 10 degrees play. Now we're going to do a safe start. Safe start means that the parking brake is set, the gear shift is in neutral. When we turn our bus on, the ABS light will go on and promptly go off, just like it did. Okay, we're going to show our all of our instrument panel and gauges. First, we're going to turn on our headlamps. That will illuminate all of our gauges for us. We want to make sure we have ample fuel for our trip. Our DEF has got plenty of fluid and all the lights are illuminated. Our tachometer, speedometer, odometer. We have our voltmeter reading between um, 12 and 14. We have our temperature is going to rise up to about 190 when it's fully warm. We have our um, air gauges right here. They are going to sit between 120 and 125. At 125, the governor will cut off and it will make a pch noise. Okay, and our oil gauge is right here, and that is fine. Okay, we're going to take a look at all of our internal lights. We're going to take a look at our indicators left, indicator right, our high beam, and you must have the headlights switch on before your high beam switch will work. And you operate that with your turn signal lever by pulling it forward. We're going to look at our windshield wipers and washers by pushing the lever forward. And we're going to have the windows washed by pushing in the button. We have our mirror defroster here, high idle, headlamp switch, high, low, and off fans. Our noise suspension button is right here for railroad crossings. Our driver dome, our passenger dome, our strobe light, we will leave on and I'll show you in a moment. That's our horn and it's working properly. We have our gear shift in reverse. You can hear the noise and we can go through each gear smoothly. Of course, this is our parking brake. We're going to check out our heaters and defrosters over here. Rear heaters you can hear. And we're gonna feel for our defrosters as well. Right up here. And we can direct them 
with these switches here. We have our CV radio that we would do a radio check with. And um, now we're going to put on our seatbelt and do some brake checks. First, we are going to, and that was my service door, sorry, with the light right there. Our service door works properly. And we're going to take a look at our master switch right here, right there, and our override right here. We also have the stop arm coming out. And if you had a crossover bar, it would come out at this time as well. This one does not have one. Make sure your master switch is on for your lights to function properly. Now we're going to do some brake tests. So the first one we're going to do, we're going to put the bus into drive and we're going to take our foot off of the service brake and push on the accelerator. And we want to make sure that we're not moving forward so we know that our parking brake is holding. Now we're going to release the parking brake and let go of the service brake to move forward. We're going to move forward about five miles an hour and push on the service brake. We want to make sure we're not pulling to the right or to the left and stopping smoothly. Now we're going to put the bus back into neutral and turn off the bus, but put it back into accessory with our foot off of the service brake. We want to make sure that our air tanks will not drop more than two PSI in one minute. And you'll ask the examiner if they'd like to time that. If they do, they can. Once they're done timing it, you're going to press down on the service brake. After the initial drop, it will not move more than three PSI in a minute. And once again, you'll ask them if they'd like to time that. Once they're done timing it, you're going to fan the brakes. Before 60, we're going to have a light and buzzer come on. There it is. And between 20 and 40, we are going to have our parking brake apply itself for that last emergency feature. And there it went. So we know that all of our emergency brake functions are working properly. Now we're going to start the bus back up. Okay. We are going to turn our high idle on so our low pressure buzzer and air tanks fill up a little more rapidly. And while we're doing that, we're going to do an inside cabin check. As you can see, my seatbelt is functioning properly, not cracked, broken or damaged, no loose or missing parts, and it latches correctly. We want to take a look at our driver's seat. Driver's seat is bolted and securely locked in place, not cracked, broken or damaged, no loose or missing parts. We're also going to take a look at our seat frames, our seat backs, and our seat bottoms. We want to make sure that they are bolted securely to the floor and they are secured to the frames. We'll do that by tugging up lightly on each of the cushions going back. On our way back, we will stop at one of our emergency exit windows. We'll lift up on the handle, push out, the lights come on, the buzzer sounds, and when we push it back into place, everything goes off. We're also going to take a look at, continue looking at our seat bottoms and backs. And we're going to stop at our emergency door. Lights come on, buzzer sounds, it opens freely, and when we close it up, everything goes off. Once again, continuing to the back with our seats. We're going to take a look at our rear exit. Lights come on, buzzer sounds, goes off when you close it. We would check all three other window exits the same way and then I would check my rear patch and my strobe light. We'll push up here. We're going to release the exit. Our strobe light is functioning. You can see it. It's very bright so it's hard to see right now. And then we'll lock it back in place. Lights go up and the buzzer stops. We'll 
check our seat backs on the way back forward, each of them. All my windows I would check the same way as I check this one, and I check the other hatch the same way. When you're done checking your inside of the cabin, we're going to ask your examiner to check all of your outside lights. You want them to check your clearance lights all the way around the bus. Then you're going to have them check up front. You want them to check your amber warning lights, your red loading lights, your headlamps, high and low beam, your turn signals and hazards in the front. As you move to the left side of the bus, you want them to check your stop arm, your turn signals and hazards on the left. As they go to the back, you want them to check your amber warning lights, your loading lights, your backup lights, your brake lights, your tail lights, turn signals and hazards. You come around to the right side of the bus, you're going to have them check your turn signals and hazards and your door step lights on the inside and outside. Once they have checked all of your lights on the outside, you will have completed your pre-trip and you can move on to maneuverability. trip you have 30 minutes to complete. If at any time you have forgot to point something out and you remember at some point in time, you can do that at any time within the 30 minutes that you are allotted. So for the demonstration that I just did for you, I neglected to point out the hazard lights on the inside. I did talk about them for the outside. So that's located behind our turn signal as a silver bar, and it's right here. So that, as long as you point them out within the 30 minutes that you are allotted, you can go back and choose to point out anything. So if you've forgotten to show them the hub oil seal on your front tire, you can show it to them at that time as well. That's how you can remedy anything within that allotted time period. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this informational format, part two of the pre-trip. Catch a full demonstration and version of the pre-trip in real time on my 2019 International Conventional Bus.